The celebration of Diwali starts on October 24th this year, which is a festival that Hindu Indians celebrate all across the world. So today I'm meeting up with my friend Avni, who's going to show us some fun activities to do with your family. Avni, happy Diwali. Happy Diwali. So tell, let's start at the beginning. What is Diwali? So Diwali is a five day long Hindu festival. It's popularly known as the Festival of Lights. Well, I know that there are certain traditions that happen during Diwali and I would love for you to walk us through. Absolutely. So Rangoli is a really ornate handmade welcome mat as I like to explain it. So in our culture, we believe that if your home is really dirty, you're basically sending a signal to goddess Lakshmi, who is the goddess of wealth and prosperity, that do not enter my home, you are not welcomed here. So I obviously see. we don't want to send that message, right? So during the fall, all Indian families go on this crazy mad cleaning spree. The reason why we do that is really to kind of send a signal to goddess Lakshmi that, you know, welcome to our home, come bless us for the year ahead. Imagine like, this is like where you're welcome with, right? Like, you yeah. instantly like put a smile on your face, and that's what the value is all about. Like you know, finding these moments of joy in just kind of everyday moments. So if you don't want to do anything that ornate, we have a really kid-friendly version of Rangoli here too. So we're gonna take some paintbrush over here and some acrylic paint. You're gonna just pick any color you want and kind of dotting along. That's pretty good. This is Ganesh. So Ganesh is actually the god of good fortune, hope, and he's also the remover of obstacles. So oh. we love to pray to Ganesh all day, every day, but especially during Diwali. And so you, you mentioned presents yes. during this. One of the things I wanted to show you today was how we can kind of elevate the gift-giving experience. And, and I make it Diwali. Exactly. Make it very Diwali-esque. I have this old skirt of my daughter, right? If you have the heart to like, you know, kind of rip this apart, you oh can take boy. a scissor and basically turn it into something that looks like this and use this as your ribbon. Oh, okay. This looks like an Indian present to me. This screams Diwali to me. I love this. Now, if you want to go a little fancier, what have you got? This is my favorite part. So this is a lotus candle holder. But I mean, just like, look at this. Wouldn't you want to open this box? Diwali actually comes from the Sanskrit word Dipavali, which means row of lights. The story goes that Lord Rama was exiled from his family's kingdom, and when he returned home, all the people of the town put out a row of candles for him to basically find his way home. And that's why you see anytime you go to an Indian person's home during Diwali, they'll always have some candles out, whether they're real or LED, it does not matter. But it carries a lot of significance to this story. All right, so Avni, one of the things that we haven't talked about is actually you have your own line of Bali toys. I do. So all of our toys are inspired by Hindu gods and goddesses. And actually what's the coolest thing about them is that when you squeeze your belly... They talk! They sing up to five different Hindu prayers and really helps make our culture a little bit more accessible. Yeah. And it helps us preserve our culture in a way that's really fun and easy. I think it makes us feel good as parents and you know, the kids obviously love and enjoy playing with them. So it's a win-win. Well, Avni, thank you so much for explaining Diwali to us and giving us so many great ideas. Um, where can people find out more? People can find out more at moditoys.com. All right, awesome. Thank you and happy Diwali. Thank you, happy Diwali.